This is a question asking us to relate the electron levels of the Schrodinger model of the atom to the electron configuration we get from looking at the periodic table. When we think of the principal quantum number, the first principal quantum number is 1, and the L value that we can have is 0. So what we are speaking of here is the 1s orbital. And I could start drawing the spheres and the dumbbells, but for this question we're just going to draw boxes to indicate where the electrons can live. When we move to the second principal quantum number, there are two levels, a 0 and a 1 for L. So we are now dealing with the 2s and the 2p. And you may remember that the 2s has one potential m sub L value, the 2p has three potential m sub L values. So I'll put those in banana bunches of three. When we go to the third principal quantum number, we have three possible levels. We have 3s, 3p, and 3d. But you may remember something unique about the closeness of the energy levels when we get together. It turns out that, I'm going to erase this and move it up one, the 3d is actually slightly higher in level than the fourth principal quantum number where L is zero, which is the just working with my pen here, 4s. And then of course there's 4 plus 1, which is the 4p. Alright, now I'd like to draw boxes associated with this. So S's are one banana, P's are three banana bunches, S is one, D, you may remember, comes in a group of five, because there are five potential values for M sub L, and P comes in bunches of three. All right, we have now drawn the energy levels in increasing N plus L values. Now it's time to put in our electrons. When I check the periodic table for arsenic, it turns out that arsenic has 33 electrons. So it's now up to me to put in 33 electrons. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, are you bored out of your minds yet? 21, 22, oops, I really should put them in according to Hunt's rule. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, ah, 31, 32, 33. There we go. I have now put these 33 electrons in to their respective orbitals. Now, if we want to look at the electron configuration of arsenic, it's a matter of looking at where our electrons are. So you can see that, oh yeah, 1s, we got two electrons. So we will write 1s2 and then 2s2. And then for this next level, we have 6, so 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, and I'm going to move down to the next line, 4s2, 3d10, and 4p3. I have now accounted for all 33 electrons. Of course, there's an easier way to write this. This set right here 
actually represents argon. So I could write this more simply as all argon and then work on my remaining ones that are outside the noble gas core as 4s2, 3d10, 4p3. And that is how you would, the long way, without the periodic table, get the electron configuration of arsenic.